good morning all, hope everyone's alright. Um, day off today, so I'm gonna go digging for two, three hours. Um, I'll show you some pictures in a second when we're going. Really interested, it's a uh, own personal uh, little permission on a, I think it's probably a 17th to 18th century uh, brick built, well, flint built house. It's really lovely, I'll show you the pictures in a minute. Um, and I'll show you uh, what we find, but I'm really interested to see what's under the ground here because it's um, it's a real interesting part of town. So I'll see you on the first hole, and this is where we'll be digging. Gorgeous, this place is. So, <laughs> really old flint build house. You go through this old room here, leads you to the secret garden. Look at this, absolutely just amazing. Just a lovely, lovely place. It's lovely. Look, look how old that is. It's just, I love this place. Nice little pond. Got some fish. Honestly, it's just stunning. Right, let's start. Right, bit of a situation here. I've just literally knelt on an ant's nest. Ah. Oh my god. Look, look, first sign is this. I got excited about it, because look, it looks wow, but it's just a zip. Oh my god, there is ants all over me. Ah. Next signal, massive lump of lead shaped as well. Yep, lead. Right, first coin of the day, I think. And of course, 20 pence. Well, that's the first coin. Onwards and upwards. Hi right, guys, um, I'm not telling anyone to suck eggs or anything, but I'm just gonna let you know that I've just dug a plug here I'll just show you how to do a neat hole and how to put it back. So you obviously been in the garden here, it needs to be quite a neat plug. So what I tend to do is put all the residual bit that you can back in the hole. Then obviously put the plug back over. You can see obviously it looks like that. Then what I do, stamp it down. With my little hobbit feet. And you can see, it's, you don't really know where I am, but you've got this residual mud here, literally. Just spray it out everywhere. And then just place it around. There you go. Absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm just by these beautiful flowers. Just by this here. First decent coin of the day, I think. I think. Where is it? There. What have we got? What have we got? Hey, George V, Big Penny. Lovely, right, we're on to the oldish stuff, which suits the house. So that's good. Never get bored of finding these. 1945. Well, not as old as the house, but we're getting there of age. Might be some silvers then. There we go, cool. Right, the second coin. Look at that. Oh. Just lush. Right, second coin. Where is it? There it is. Let's have a look, shall we? Ugh. Uh, penny. Still, still a coin. Lovely. Yay! Well, I'll say yay. Look. This silvery looking coin. Silvery looking coin. 
Do you know what, it's so fascinating doing houses like this because you just build up a picture of who was here before, what was here and it's just, I mean, this, uh, this is the sort of detecting I like. Like literally, look at this. I know mean, I keep going on about it and I do apologize, but this is what a proper English country garden. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna stop rabbiting and I've just pulled this up now. It's, it's quite interesting this. Um, in any other field, I'll be like, hello, and possibly even here, have a look at this. That looks incredibly old to me I think it's pewter not bronze actually so it's a bit earlier a bit later but that is the sort of stuff I like digging proper history there I'm gonna see if there's any more in there right, next um, little find quite deep down actually to be fair this pot now everyone who's a detectorist knows this can either be one or two things snuff which is probably what it is or a condom pot. Um, let me clean it up and have a look on them. Here's some lift music while you uh, wait. Thank you for staying with me. Um, chemicals. No idea. I have to give up every clean one I have, but I can't be sure. Tablets, it says there. God knows, no idea, but it looks old. Anyhow, on to the next one. Just a note of warning, always wear gloves. I just had to do that with my hands. I just missed it by a second. I should know to wear gloves by now. So yeah, just heads up, look how sharp that actually is. Oh, right, I have a coin. Oh, it's so lovely digging. Where is it? Here it is. What we got, what we got? Oh, oh no, it's a button. It's a baton. As the Grim would say. Also, just quickly, um, obviously people are not being able to get out anything. Watch some YouTube videos. You know, not necessarily mine, but there's so many good ones out there. You know, we've got Shilling King, Dino, moving on. We've got Sid, we've got Four Tones, we've got um, South East Metal Detecting Rallies. We've got loads of videos out there. We've got Bleak Dicted to Bleaks with Chris. We've got the Dubai's. Got loads of them out there and um, easy viewing and if you're into the hobby and you can't get out get watching anyway moving on with this button oh, I've just dug this I've, I've gone in the back garden not the side garden just dug this out is that a token I mean it does look like it not sure aluminium I don't know. I don't think I've chopped it in half. It feels heavy. I don't think it's Ali. Oh, it's got a bit of iron. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. What? Right, live dig. Now it says 72. If you know it, live dig, it's going to be crap. Also, my pinpoint is on the blink. So that's fun. Oh, this stuff in Sussex. Bomb shrapnel, incendiary thingy. Nightmare. Oh, that's the last life dig I'm doing. Right, this side of the house now. Oh, yes. Just picked up a coin. What is it? No, it can't be. Surf coast detecting. Aaron will have a fit. Look at that, mate. 2p just for you. Check out his channel, South Coast Detecting. Aaron, brilliant guy, beach detecting, finds awesome stuff with macro, macro, macro machines, macro nocturne, all that. 2p, moving on. Oh my 
god, heart attack moment. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, so I've just dug this and I've plucked the plug over and this came up. <laughs> I've already had a look at it. Don't get too excited, but honestly, look at that. <laughs> it does look like something, doesn't it? I'm not sure it is. I think it's modern metal. I don't think it's anything to write home about, but oh my god, look, because of that. But yeah, Whew. that gave me a heart attack thinking it's a spearhead or arrowhead or some sort of head. But yeah, oh, got the key, I've got the secret, I've got the key to a foreign ready. Okay. Mind boggles. I wonder what that's to. I reckon it's a safe in the cellar with loads of bullion gold. What do you reckon? <sighs> we can only but hope and wish. Just in the uh, orchard bit. Look. Oh, they're going to spit at me, aren't they? Hello. Don't spit at me. Hi. They're going to spit at me. They're going to spit at me. I know it. They are funny looking horses. Mutant horses. Hello. Gorgeous. Jeez. What are they? Hold on, let me get a better pot. Plums? When I have my vasectomy, I take them. Hold on, let me see if I can find them. They were the colour of my plums. So adult content, but real talk. Anyway, that's quite enough of plum talk today. On next week's episode, <laughs> no, just pull out this coin. Uh, I'm on the watch. Oh, oh my god! Look, look. Coin, yeah. These, these. I tell you. Come on, focus. My phone's not focusing because it knows how how disgusted I am with finding these things. Oh, oh. Right, I'm going to taste one of these plants. Look at that. Lush. Right, I'm going to taste it. Oh my god. That is. Look at the size. Fat. like a raisin with legs and wings. How perfect that looks. Look at that. Right next to this old outbuilding. Stonking, it's lovely. Nice breeze as well. Right, so, another coin. What have we got? Oh, 10p. 10p. Random, random. That was, that was about two, three inches down. I've just come up to this doorway. This is the main doorway. It's not no longer in use. I swear, I think it might be in use, but you know, you look, it's the side of the house. So I thought I'd just try these little strips down here. Anyway, interesting. I might just concentrate on it because I've just pulled this on. Really old. Well, I don't know if it's really old actually. Like an old buckle? Not sure if it's old or not really. Or well, it might be. Oh, actually, it might be on them alley strap things. Hmm. Nice signal that. <laughs>